Hello, and welcome to our session, Goodbye Expensive Legacy Databases, Hello NextGen Postgres Database. My name is Sandy Guy, Product Manager for AlloyDB for Postgres. I'm joined today by Yuki Makino, CTO of Plaid, a fast-growing Japanese company that delivers real-time customer insights via their platform, Carta. Here at Google, we're seeing a rapid acceleration of customers migrate their databases to the cloud. But as they make that journey, many are rethinking the technologies that they use. Our customers want to modernize from legacy proprietary services and standardize on open source. And there's one database in particular that we're seeing customers standardize on, Postgres. That's because it's open source. It has the portability that's becoming increasingly critical for enterprises and a license-free cost model. It has rich functionality that can compete with commercial te grade technologies, not to mention a broad ecosystem of extensions. It's used by millions of users supporting mission critical applications in almost every industry. And of course, it has an awesome, friendly community. So if you're struggling to eliminate your dependency on high cost proprietary database engines and are looking to standardize on open APIs like Postgres, you've come to the right place. Today, we're gonna to chat about AlloyDB, a new Postgres compatible database service for commercial grade workloads designed to help free you from expensive, unfriendly licenses and vendor lock-in. AlloyDB launched a preview this May and we're so lucky today to be joined by one of our preview customers, Yuki Makino from Plaid, to hear about his real world experience with some of AlloyDB's most exciting features. Next, we'll demo our latest launch, AlloyDB support for database migration service. And finally, what's next for AlloyDB? Today, we're excited to announce some new features and chat about the momentum we're seeing with customers and partners. So let's get started with AlloyDB. Postgres has become a popular migration target for legacy proprietary databases, but replatforming to open source was historically difficult because some commercial grade capabilities were still lagging. At GCP, we've typically seen that the most pressing pain points are in these first three areas, scale, performance, and availability. We also see opportunities to address Postgres specific management challenges from Postgres vacuum or reclamation of storage to resource management, like out of disk and out of memory errors. And as customers look to get more from their data on GCP, we wanna enable new use cases around real-time operational insights and AI ML. And that's why we built AlloyDB, a new open source compatible database ready for top tier relational database workloads. It combines full Postgres compatibility with Google native infrastructure for better performance, better scale, and better availability. AlloyDB is available today in preview. In our performance tests, AlloyDB is four times faster than standard Postgres for transactional workloads powered by a Google native storage service designed and optimized for Postgres. And it's up to 100 times faster for analytical queries, thanks to AlloyDB's columnar execution engine, which leverages columnar technology for faster scans, joins, and aggregations. That boost not only makes queries faster, but opens up the ability to do more real-time analysis directly on the database. And the columnar engine is so easy to use. You get significantly faster queries with no schema or application changes needed. And we can even automatically populate the columnar store using machine learning to understand your workload patterns. Of course, the heart of any managed database service is reliability. AlloyDB customers can expect high regional availability out of the box backed by a 99.99% availability SLA, inclusive of maintenance. I'm so excited to be able to offer this customer-friendly SLA to give our users more peace of mind, thanks to some unique mm -hmm. AlloyDB capabilities. AlloyDB automatically detects and recovers from most database failures within 60 seconds, independent of database size and load. 
It's supported by a multi-zone architecture with zero RPO for in-region failover. And finally, our architecture also supports non-disruptive instance resizing and database maintenance. That means that during maintenance, the primary instance can resume normal operations in seconds, while read replica pool updates are transparent to users. LODB is highly scalable with horizontal scaling of read connections up to 1,000 vCPUs and linear write scalability. Our storage service, backed by proven Google native infrastructure, offers horizontal scale out of database optimized storage. And finally, it's easy to manage with autopilot systems like automatic vacuum and memory management, automatic storage tiering across multiple layers and formats of cache, for excellent out-of-the-box performance and price performance on a variety of workloads. Of course, AlloyDB is fully Postgres compatible with a broad supported list of flags and extensions. That allows you to move your existing apps as is with no code changes and leveraging existing tools like PG Admin or operational processes like PG Dump and PG Restore for import export. And finally, we offer predictable and transparent pricing. No license fees, no IO charges. You get great price performance for your workload and storage is pay as you go. That means you're no longer provisioning disk. You just write to the database and build storage goes up drop a table and you'll see build storage go right back down. And now let's hear from Yuki about his early experiences with AlloyDB at Blade. Thanks, Sandy. Hi, I'm Yuki. I'm CTO at Blade, a Tokyo-based tech startup company. Before I'm joining Blade, I worked for IBM in r and Lab and mainly worked for distributed data systems, including in-memory distributed DB, programming language processor and a text analytics engine. Today, I quickly talk about the highlight of our ROIDB use case. Blade provides a SaaS platform for customer experience. The name is Calde. It manages customer experiences or on, on the web to know the real-time state of the customer and to do appropriate action for them. It has not only a wide variety of analytics functionality to understand the customer experience, but for supporting interaction on the web, it also analyzes user state every time for every single user with some consistency. And also it calculates appropriate actions within one second in that transaction. In order to realize HTAP at scale, we originally made up to uh, up, uh, with, uh, up the system with the CCB components, and they support our massive scale data processing. Our system handles more than 100,000 transactions per second, and it serves more than 10 petabyte data. To handle such, such large scale data, we use BigQuery, BigTable, and Spanner heavily in the backend. Now, ROIDB has been added to the GCP family. Thanks to that, we can extend the range of data analysis and its utilization. ROIDB can fill the gap between large-scale large databases on GCP. Compared to Spanner and Bigtable, ROIDB can answer flexible analytical query. It's flexible because it allows you to process queries without schema change. On the other hand, Spanner uh, and Bigtable and uh, other relational databases require some expertise to create indexes and optimize schema tuning for analytical query performance. ROIDB can answer analytical query with low latency. ROIDB uses a built-in memory engine and responds with low latency when the target data can be located on its memory. Of course, ROIDB is one of scalable databases, and uh, ROIDB can be scaled up for write and scaled out for read. If the size of your data isn't petabyte scale, the range of its utilization is greatly expanded. 
However, uh, for our uh, use case, we cannot ingest all of our large scale data to RODB in order to bring out the characteristics of RODB. We are defining an appropriate subset of our large scale data to ingest to locate the data in memory for creating a new analytics application. By properly combining these GCP databases with RODB, we can uh, expand the possibility of uh, data analysis more. The benefits I mentioned in the last slide are provided by the Emory Kalamna engine. When simply uh, measured and evaluated the performance with our actual data and the typical queries and tested our workload with and without indexes. We looked at three types of, of uh, queries, simple count, calculating an average, and unique count. RODB with Karna engine performed up to about 100 times faster, with, uh, faster than without. The columnar engine was also up to about 10 times faster than an index scan. RODB can expand the possibility of uh, data analytics, analytics and uh, utilization and simplify systems with minimal investment for HTAP at scale. It enables us to analyze massive data flexibly with low latency. Combining together as a GCP product, we can solve a wide range of problems in the real world by using uh, petabyte scale data. Thanks. Thank you so much, Yuki. It's really awesome to see the columnar engine help you deliver real-time insights to your customers. So as you can see, we're very excited about AlloyDB and want to make it as easy as possible for you to get there. Last month, we announced the preview database migration service support for AlloyDB to make homogeneous migrations from Postgres easier than ever. Database migration service makes migrating simpler, more secure, and more reliable. And now over to Shahar for a quick demo. Hi, my name is Shahar Guz, and I'm the product manager for the database migration service. Today, I'm going to show you a quick migration between Postgres SQL to AlloyDB for Postgres SQL. If you ever use DMS to migrate Postgres SQL databases, this will look incredibly familiar, as AlloyDB is Postgres SQL compatible, migration steps are identical. Let's see it in DMS. Now, let's walk through the DMS experience. You can access DMS from the Google Cloud Console navigation under Databases. Let's find it and click Database Migration and Migration Job. To get started, you create a migration job, which represents the end-to-end -end process of moving your data from source to the target. First, let's add more details to the migration job, like name, ID, source, and destination type. In our use case, it's Postgres SQL to AlloyDB for Postgres. The migration will be continuous, meaning DMS will migrate the database with minimal downtime or disruption to the application. Based on my selection, DMS displays the pre-configuration required for successful migration on the source and that are required to achieve connectivity. The next step would be to define my source database. I can do this by defining a new connection profile, which represents how DMS connects to my source. These profiles aren't locked to individual migration and can be reused. I've already created a connection profile for my PostgreSQL database running on Google Cloud Engine, so I'll select it. Now that I have my connection profile, I'm ready to create a brand new AlloyDB cluster to use it for my migration. If you ever used or created an AlloyDB for Postgres cluster, this will look extremely familiar. You'll see many of the same options like machine configuration and connectivity. I'll make my selections and create a cluster. We we'll start by adding the cluster ID, password, networking method, and would we'll configure my primary instance ID and the machine type that I would like to choose to my cluster, to my LDB cluster. Now, 
I'm ready to define the connectivity between the source database to the newly created AlloDB cluster. Since my source is already running on Google Cloud, I'll choose VPC peering and then choose the VPC I want to connect to. I've configured my source, created an AlloDB cluster, and established connectivity. The last step is to verify that all my configuration are correct and start the migration job. My migration job validation is currently running and I will wait for it to be completed. Now that my migration job passed successfully, I can trust that my migration will run smoothly. I can choose to create my migration and start it later or create and start it immediately. I create and start the job immediately. Once my migration job has started, I can monitor its progress in the migration jobs details page. DMS will first transfer the initial dump of the data and then continuously replicate changes as they happen. Since DMS is serverless, I never need to worry about scaling the migration resources. That's it. Now that my migration job is in CDC and replication phase, I can choose to promote the migration job. This will stop the replication from the source to the AlloDB cluster. And then I can configure my application to write to the brand new AlloDB for PostgreSQL cluster, and the migration will be completed. It's that easy. That's it. I migrated my PostgreSQL database to a brand new AlloDB for Postgres in a simple, secure, and serverless way. Thanks, Shahar. We're already excited about the early momentum in Postgres migrations. For customers like Sensadata, DMS can help them migrate multiple terabytes of data to AlloyDB and take advantage of massive performance improvements, over 350% in their case, with no application changes. For customers coming from Oracle, we've also announced Oracle to Postgres migrations, available in preview. So what's next for AlloyDB? Today, we're announcing some awesome new features, including support for cross-region replication, which we'll be rolling out to preview. AlloyDB will provide asynchronous replication between regions for disaster recovery and geodistributed local reads. Another big feature we recently launched is customer managed encryption keys, allowing you to use your own keys managed in KMS for encryption. And that's just the beginning. Since our preview launched last May, we've delivered features across our investment areas with launches and improvements in availability, data protection, security and compliance, and developer experience, and we'll continue to do so. We're also seeing amazing momentum from our customers in preview, from fast growing startups like Plaid to enterprises like Deutsche Bank and PayPal, Customers are already seeing how AlloyDB can be a part of their future. And finally, we're seeing momentum with our partners. We've already built up an ecosystem of partners like Infosys, HCL, and Pythian, who've tested AlloyDB extensively and already have deep expertise to help customers with implementations. These partners have experience with migration from Postgres implementations, both on-premise and in other clouds, as well as with heterogeneous migrations from other databases, such as Oracle. And finally, AlloyDB integrates with leading technology solutions like Confluent, Stream, Migvisor, Datadog, Calibra, and more. Getting started is super easy. Just visit cloud.google.com slash AlloyDB. Thank you so much for listening in, and a special thank you to Yuki for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of your next 22.